Okay, this is courtesy of Jake Gallen, and uh, he let me record me logging in with AnyDesk and uh, doing his Clipper Flash. So you're going to SSH in. If you have Macintosh, you just use the uh, command that he just used. If you have Windows, you have to download like WinSCP. The password is going to be Raspberry, unless you've changed it, in which case you won't need me to tell you that. Then you're going to type in cd space clipper and then make space menu config. That's not going to be set like that already. It says because he's already done a flash, he was changing to a new board because his other one failed. So you're going to change it to SAM3, SAM4, and then do it Wi Fi. Make sure you hit spacebar to enable USB if it's not already enabled. Then just press escape, nothing else, just escape. Then press make, type in make. It's going to take a lot longer and do more because it's going to be compiling for the first time. His was already done, so it didn't need to be done again. Next, you're going to ID the USB port. So you're going to make sure the only thing connected by USB is your duet board. And also, you have to have already done the erase pins, which is part of the uh, PowerPoint presentation that Alex Orr has been helping uh, has been making for me, has been helping me with by making it. I've been sending him all the stuff and he's been putting it together like really nicely. But uh, so I got the USB ID and that's what it says if it is already um, reset. If it says do it Wi Fi, then that means that it's not, in which case you have to, the pins I'm about to draw a box around, you have to short those pins out, count to three Mississippi, and then press the reset button which is a tiny small button to the left of the USB port. Um, if you can't find the reset button it's not the end of the row. If you don't press it you just might have to do the flash command a few times. Next you're going to stop clipper by doing the super user command sudo space service space clipper space stop. It's going to ask you for the password again which once again is raspberry unless you've changed it. Then at this point you are going to type in make flash then you have to make sure that the next flash device is in capitals I almost messed up because I was going off of memory here um, I didn't have a guide in front of me because I didn't plan this out very well um, so flash underscore device equals and then you're gonna put in that ID from above which it's easier if you just copy and paste it but on any desk it wasn't letting me use keyboard shortcuts so I just typed it in manually also, if you're on Windows using WinSCP, don't try to use keyboard shortcuts, they won't work. You can highlight it and then right click, which it'll copy and then paste instantly at the same time. So you just have to hit escape after it pastes it and gives you an error, but it's a way to get it into the uh, clipboard. Once you do this, it'll say erase flash and then go through, showing little lines popping up, whatever. You'll see it in a second. If it's not successful, like I said, don't panic. Just do it again. If it says it couldn't find the device, though, that most likely means that you have a typo in the device ID, in the USB ID descriptor. Um, you're going to do that command again. You can press up a few times to get back to the uh, um, to the command to pull the uh, USB port, and then copy that so it gets put into the um, clipboard and then make sure you restart Clipper, otherwise it's not going to work when you're trying to connect and you're not going to be able to figure out what's wrong. Now go to main sale, type in your IP address if you haven't already brought up main sale. If you can't find your IP address, you can use the ping host command. So you're going to type in ping and then the name is trudon300, if it's a 300, 400, if it's a 400, if you're using my SD cards. I set the, the names as that to make it easy. If it comes up as a IPv6 with a bunch of weird digits, just put hyphen 4 after the host name in that command so you get the IP address in IPv4 so you can type it in the browser and it'll come up. Then at that point you're gonna go to settings. I had to do it twice because once again I forgot that I couldn't use keyboard shortcuts so I didn't actually paste in a new ID. So then I come here now and I right click and use the mouse because I'm realizing what happened and then I paste in the new ID.
and I changed from 3400 to 3433 at the end so you can see that it worked. Now I still didn't get a connection so you sometimes have to restart Moonraker which is what communicates between Clipper and Mainsail. So Clipper was actually connected at that point, the printer just didn't, the Raspberry Pi just didn't know it. So you restart it by clicking the three dots in the top right and clicking restart Moonraker. Um, sometimes I've even had to restart the full host. Um, usually the only time I have to do that is just to get the panel connected at that point because sometimes the panel will just say connecting. If you weren't on RepRep Firmware 3, make sure you set the panel to 5, uh, 57,600 baud because if it's at anything higher or lower, it will not work. And uh, it will, you'll know it works when it says idle. Um, I think that's pretty much everything as far as the flash goes. Once again, I wanted to thank Jake Allen for letting me record uh, me flashing his new board for him and thank Alex Orr for putting together the PowerPoint presentation um, which he's probably going to end up putting one together for this too thank you